The UAP action may be on the pause this week, but as we end the first round, the hype continues as we bring you more courtside stories of your favorite team. We have with us tonight, UAP Season 85 correspondents making her return, once again, now almost a mandatory thing, Julia Vargas. And welcome, Carla Elizaga, yes. reporting for Ateneo and UP. I'm sorry, but it's, uh, it's my thing to bully Julia when she reports about Ateneo. Yay. Yeah. Yeah. Good evening, ladies. Welcome to the game. Uh, Julia, yeah. let's start with you first. Yes. Yeah, I mean, like, welcome back. Thank you for having <laughs> what, me. Oh, what, a, what a season you guys have so far. But, siempre, yeah. we asked the uh, two of you to come up with some courtside stories. And mm -hmm. uh, I honestly don't know where to start. Where do you think we should start off with your team? I think we should start with Kai Balungay. Because mm. I know a lot of people have been going crazy about him and want to know a lot of things about him. So I have a little bit of ba on. Mm. You know, okay. besides him being a basketball player that wasn't on the top of his list. He wanted to be a professional American football player. Okay. Actually. So he stuck to that sport for around six to seven years, which is a very long time. You'd think that with all that commitment and time that he spent with it, he'd stick to it. But he decided to go to basketball because of one thing. Hmm. Can you guys guess what it is? Uh he was better at basketball? <laughs> I don't know. What, what no, because he had a major growth spurt, ah, according okay. to him. So, as you can see, he's really tall. Yes, yes, he is. And of course, yeah. uh, he's actually the second uh, UAP player to actually have an American football background. One of the others mm -hmm. being uh, Jason Perkins back in the day yep. for La Salle. But yeah, so there is a bit of a background and connection when it comes to that. Okay, now let's go to Carla. JD Kagulangan, sure. he has made a name for himself last season. Yeah. Yeah. Just talk about how he's sort doing of. now and... <laughs> Sort of, sort, sort of. of made a name last year. Uh, <laughs> no, no, just no. championship shot maker. Yeah, I don't know. yeah, yeah I you know. <laughs> Julia, you okay? We don't have to repeat that. No, 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 no. <laughs> All right, sorry. Yeah. Go ahead. I mean, like he was really. It, I think it was very special for him that he went back and then his first game was also against mm -hmm. you know Ateneo. But I think what everyone has to know. I mean, I know the entire crowd only saw him like during that game but in on the sidelines he's really present mm -hmm. still with the team there at every practice and he's also really vocal like in the dugouts just reminding the players of what they need giving them moral support so like his presence in the team itself it's like he really never left yeah yeah you know, it's it's funny because uh, his being vocal, feeling good, that's because he's a former Lasallian. But uh, no, <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah. oh, oh. <laughs> but what? Anyway, no. So moving on. <laughs> Siempre, when, uh, when you talk about this entire UP team, it's, there's just so many characters there. Uh, we talked about Bricks yeah. in the past. We talked about um, JD Carl. But then when you look at a guy like Kenny Galanato, right, there's a story there that's a bit interesting also, considering it's out of left field. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, it's funny because this is one of the first things I ever found out about Henry. And if you if you if you guys have seen him like his with his build, like he could be very intimidating. But yeah. apparent like apparently back in the States. He was actually a teacher for grade five students and he used to teach history and PE. Mm -hmm. And yeah, you know, that really took me back because it's so far from basketball. Mm -hmm. But I mean, apparently he really got into it because he just loves building relationships like with these kids. Like he knows that growing up can be hard. And you know, if you have that chance to be like a positive influence to them, like at that point in their life, you know, then yeah. you can do it as a teacher. I'm curious to see what sure. how he taught PE in general. <laughs> uh, because that would have been really interesting. And history and PE. Yeah, history and PE. Like, like what a weird combo. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Yes, I agree. Right? That's, that's really that's really strange. But I, I, I now I want to learn from him too. So let's see what happens then. Yeah, um, let's talk about Sean Kitevis. Mm -hmm. um, Carla mentioned hard work, you know, and doing everything, managing everything. I heard that uh, yung mga team managers daw ng Ateneo, for them, he's like the most hardworking student athlete. Yeah, like actually, they would always tell me that he's the epitome of a student athlete. Because actually, last month, if I'm not mistaken, he graduated uh, as cum laude. Mm. So that's such a big thing. And, you know, for all his college life, he's been uh, grinding in Team B. So yeah. now he's finally in Team A and all of his hard work finally paid off. And it's just 
really amazing to see that he's been able to become a cum laude while, you know, yeah, balancing. Yeah. It, it's funny because Ateneo is actually very notorious for making sure their athletes are yes. uh, really up to par mm -hmm. when it comes to academics. Is it a surprise to you that you're hearing that story that uh, he's one of the guys there that they think is the most hardworking guy or is it just in his character? For me, um, knowing Sean, he's a very chill and laid back guy. So I actually got surprised that he was able to siya. pull that off. <laughs> yeah, but no, I mean, I didn't, I wouldn't like, you know, doubt him. Mm -hmm. But you know, it's just, you wouldn't know at first. You know what, that's really interesting, girls. And of course, uh, UP and Teneo, two of the teams are going to be watching a lot uh, throughout the season. And who, who knows, maybe we might have a rematch uh, next time around of the finals very soon and I know what schools I'm excluding by saying that <laughs> but girls maraming salamat Julia Vargas and Carla Elizaga reporting for Ateneo and UP respectively maraming salamat thank you for joining us thank, thank you, you guys. thank you for having us thank you girls